Okay, let's take a look at something useful. You might not understand it at first, uh, but it is very useful. Let's uh, take a look at this. Now, I have uh, metal snaps on here, but you can actually just uh, drop your uh, single uh, tripod bolt, which you can get at your local hardware store, Lowe's, or Home Depot. You can buy like a three-pack for $1.50. Uh, the thread pitch I'll list below, and uh, I just have a strap here. Now, let me uh, drop my hand through it and show you uh, how useful it is right here. Yes, yes, you can actually get this at Walmart. It is available in black. I'm sure plenty of people are looking at this now going, that looks ridiculous. That white strap, it's elastic. Now why is this so useful? Because I'm actually able to take, now I've showed you a lot of different techniques on how to take a slower shutter speeds and reduce camera shake. And I used to be a champion in five spot archery indoor competition. Same thing applies to photography, uh, apply, applies to archery, applies to photography. That's uh, the least amount of contact points you got the better. What I'm actually doing is I'm taking a stress point from contact with the camera and I'm applying it to the back of my wrist. So unlike the other methods where I actually used a, a string brace um, to, uh, uh, to anchor and uh, go down to like a fourth of a second or even a half of a second and do a handheld um, uh, really great shots, uh, uh, steady shots if I don't have vibration reduction. Uh, I can actually do almost the same thing simply by using this hand strap. Now, it operates pro now I have several black rapid hand straps and I even have the uh, very expensive Nikon AH4 hand strap. So I've used every hand strap out there for a Nikon. But this you can actually make for less than $2. You can buy this at Walmart. I'm sure you want it in black. I really don't care. I'm not that fashion conscious about what color my hand straps are. Obviously it's a retention mechanism in case you ever drop your camera. But it is elastic. You can buy uh, enough of this to make like 20 hand straps. This is like $2 for a roll of like, I forget, three or four yards or something like that. And uh, your uh, tripod mounting bolt, you can buy a three pack of those for like a dollar fifty at your hardware store. Now I put snaps on this one, but what you can do is you can actually just drop the bolt through here, but I actually wanted the quick release, uh, quick release snaps. Uh, on these and you can actually buy a, a pack, a huge pack of these for like four dollars. So we can forget about these. You can actually just overlap the elastic and drop the bolts straight through it to secure it if you want to make a really simple one. But what I have here, as you can see, I actually have only a couple contact points, well three technically, but the fourth one, the major one's being taken up uh, by the pressure from the elastic on the back of my hands. So what I'm able to do, if this is up against my face, is have very, very minimal, I'm having, I'm actually letting the camera float. I'm obviously still grabbing it, but I'm letting the camera float on the elastic, the elasticity of the band here and I can get much slower shutter speeds and much steadier shots. So a lot of the other contraptions that uh, people will show you, uh, that I've shown you specifically too, where you have to uh, put one loop uh, through your foot or uh, as I showed you, a double loop through either side of a belt loop for uh, taking really, really steady shots at very low shutter speeds. I'm able to do the same thing here. Not as slow, but I can get down to like a tenth of a second easy because I've reduced all these contact points and I'm letting the camera float on the elasticity of the band. So you're able to make one of these very, very, very quickly, very easy. And, you know, if it gets dirty, so just buy the black elastic and get it off of eBay. I have white. I had some black elastic before. The last time I went for some, they were out, so I bought white. I don't really care. I'm sure you'd want black. But you could build one of these in five minutes for less than two dollars. And while you're at it, make three or four. Since you're going to get three of these bolts in a package anyway for a buck fifty, why not make three or four of them, give a couple away to a buddy or something like that? You know, to make sure you measure whether they've got gorilla hands or not, so you're going to have to actually change uh, how much elastic actually comes out of here. But you get the point, I hope, and made things abundantly clear without repeating myself too much, that you're able to take slower shutter speeds. And we're talking about single hand held uh, shots at slower shutter speeds. I'm not talking about doing this number with a second hand also because that eliminates the purpose of what I'm doing here. Obviously I have a retention point here in case I ever drop the camera but what I'm able to do in lower light situations is actually let the camera float 
on the elastic at the bottom here and have minimal contact points up here with my hands. So instead of me normally gripping the camera like this and shaking, where it doesn't matter how steady you are, how much caffeine you have or haven't had, uh, you have a bunch of muscles fighting each other. And so even with the vibration reduction lens, you actually have a bunch of muscles fighting the vibration reduction and you're not able to take super slow uh, shutter speeds. But with the elastic strap, I'm able to let off a lot of that contact and the only contact points I have are thumb, middle finger, a bit of my palm, and of course this isn't a contact point except for releasing the shutter. So I am able to take unquestionably and empirically slow, empirically so, slower shutter speeds with one hand by using this elastic strap. Anyway, that's a great idea. It's an awesome photo hack and uh, it beats spending $24 on a black rapid hand strap. I mean you can make like I said, four or five of these for two bucks a piece. And I don't think anybody else out there has made a video like this. You think, well, it's just a hand strap for retention in case I drop the camera. No, that's not all this is good for. The other ones are nylon, and they don't have stretch. They're simply cinches for securing the camera. But this one serves a dual purpose. It actually acts at acts as a security for camera drop, but it also acts as a uh, it does a tension point since it's elastic for slower shutter speeds okay so that makes this a dual purpose hand strap which none of the other ones are okay the other ones are all leather like the AH4 or their uh, nylon like the black rapid hand strap which is twenty five dollars with the quick link adapter this one's two bucks and it serves all those purposes. It's the only one that serves all those purposes. So go ahead and make one of these. Drop down to Walmart and uh, you'll probably have to drop by Lowe's or Home Depot to buy a, um, a thread pitch for uh, securing, uh, securing the elastic uh, to the tripod socket. Okay? So this is a great tip. Awesome uh, photo hack and it's two bucks and you can make one of these uh, faster than you can take a tinkle. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me to go jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. I've been using this elastic strap for many years, and it is very helpful. I came up with the idea. I didn't get it from anybody else. I'm surprised nobody else hasn't marketed something like this. So, thanks for watching, and catch you later. Bye.